Hello everyone, welcome to the CTV News on Calabash TV and on the Wave Radio 94.5. I am Lisa Joseph. Visionary, even pioneering, that's how former St. Lucia diplomat Earl Huntley has described the service of the late George Odlum to the country. Delivering the inaugural George Odlum Memorial Lecture, Earl Huntley expressed hope that there would be a national appreciation for the approach George Odlum fashioned towards this country's foreign policy. Hundy said George Odlum, with his foresight, began the fight for small island developing states back in 1979 as a virtual lone voice, long before SIDS became a popular political phrasing. When he got back into office in, 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 in 1997, he took up the, the, the cry for small states because by then, the movement for small states had gathered steam and in a speech called small beautiful but vanishing and i have to show you that the, this this is what was circulated to the members of the general assembly small beautiful but vanishing and vanishing vanishes with a, with a, with a picture of, her, of, of the pitons and he said and i quote there is a distinct cruel irony in referring to this session as a special session of the General Assembly for small island developing states. The treatment received from donor countries is anything but special. Admittedly, we are small states, but in the current international atmosphere, one questions whether we can qualify for the title developing. While we applaud the concern which led member states to convene this review session, <laughs> The failure of developed countries to enter into the spirit of international cooperation has withered the dream. Our hopes have withered like a raisin in the sun. The summary of the review is that the situation of SIDS has changed but for the worse, heightening the urgency with which the international community must address the critical disadvantaged situation of small island developing states. And it is perhaps um, a little more than coincidental that only yesterday, this speech was given 16 years ago, and yesterday, yesterday or the day before, the UN in fact had the special session on the sustainable, sustainable development for small island states. Mr. Huntley also credited George Odlum with being a boisterous force in the Caribbean's fight at the height of the Banana Wars as the region faced the removal of preferential treatment. Earl Huntley recalled the powerful speech George Odlum gave at a WTO ministerial meeting held in Seattle, Washington, back in 2000. And it says, I come from a country where the name the WTO is a dirty word. I come from a small developing island where the banana farmers, if they had been able, would have been here in Seattle this week, marching and shouting the protesters on the streets around this convention center calling for the dismantling of the WTO. I come from a region where the people are here in spirit with the anti-WTO demonstrators. Their attitude is not born of ignorance of what the WTO stands for. On the contrary, it has been forged from the bitter experience of WTO rulings and panels which have marginalized them by depriving them of access to a banana market on which not only their livelihood but the future of the economies of so many of our Caribbean countries depend. It is an experience learned from their betrayal by a country they had considered a friend, who in the name of a so-called crusade for liberalized trade, sold them out to enhance the profits of a multinational corporation. The modalities and consequences of the US-led challenge to the European banana marketing regime at the WTO is the strongest indictment yet of the new trading system governed by the WTO. The banana chapter has laid naked the fundamental flaws, inequalities, and injustices of that system. When the 20th century began, the richest country in the world was only nine times richer than the poorest. As we begin the 21st century, the richest country in the world, this our host country, is 63 times richer than the poorest. So where is the Uruguay around? Where is the Singapore and the Marrakesh around? These frightening statistics tell us that these rounds simply take us round and round and round the mulberry bush of underdevelopment. And he actually, I, this is his actual 
copy. He actually wrote that if it's handwriting. It was not in the original in the original speech. And we'll have more from the George Ola Memorial Lecture in subsequent broadcasts.